Hey, good afternoon, guys. It's Sam here, just making a video about how to buy cold stack and then how to stake it. Uh, a couple ways to buy it. You can buy it on a centralized exchange, uh, but it's one of the exchanges you probably don't have if you're in the group. Uh, let me pull it up here. If you go to markets on coinmarketcap.com under cold stack, you will see that you can get it uh, on Mexi, which is uh, it's, it's considered a top crypto exchange for altcoins. And that's where most of the volume is. So most people who are buying uh, cold stack are buying it on Mexi. And as you can see, the next highest is on PancakeSwap. So that's a decentralized exchange on the BNB uh, um, with the Binance Smart Chain. So you're going to need BNB in order to for gas fees on that. And then the next one is going to be Uniswap, which is the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, the reason why this is higher is because the gas fees are much cheaper with the Binance Smart Chain. So I'm going to show you how to do it on the Binance Smart Chain. If you want to set up an account on a centralized exchange, you can do so. Um, but let me show you how to do that. First of all, you're going to want to have your MetaMask wallet set up, like we've talked about in other videos. As you can see, we don't have cold stack on here, but one thing I'm going to show you is how to get, first of all, how to get the Binance Smart Chain added to MetaMask. So I already have it, as you can see, but what you would do is um, manually, you could go add a network and then go find out online what you need to put in there for this to, to add the smart chain. But the easier way is to go to chainlist.org and then it will have a list of popular uh, networks over here that you can add automatically. You'll simply just click it. It'll pop up with the window to sign and approve the transaction that will automatically connect it. So that's what I would do. And then once you do that, it's automatically going to look like this. When you buy cold stack, it's not going to show up here unless you import your tokens. Um, so you'll still have them, you just won't be able to see it. So the way around that, as you can see, you can buy it on Ethereum, um, or you can buy it on the BNB Smart Chain. So what I'm going to do, you can automatically add it to MetaMask by connecting it. Or what I'll do is just copy the address. This is the contract address for a cold stack on the Binance Smart Chain. Put it in port tokens, copy paste, and add custom token, and import. So now once you look back, it'll show your cold stack. And the reason we only have one cent of cold stack is because we are staking right now. And in order to stake your cold stack, you have to send it to another wallet that you don't have control of. So that's kind of the risk that comes with this is, while I don't think that this project is gonna rug pull or take everyone's funds, um, if, if we don't have that private key or access to that wallet, then we're not gonna be able to um, control our funds and we, we give the chance, or we have we provide the opportunity for them to take our funds if they wanted to. So again, I don't think that's gonna happen. It's $100 that we invested into it. I'm not too concerned about it, but just keep that in mind. You know, you're staking, you're doing all that for just 12% APY, and it just might not be worth it. It might be worth not getting that 12% just to hold on to your crypto. But I did look into the project a little bit, and it looks like they want to bump that 12% way up in the future, possibly. So also keep that in mind. It might become worth it if they're offering a high APY. Uh, so with that being said, that is how you buy it. Um, well, that's the first step on how you buy it. What you're going to do is you're going to need BNB for fees. So you can go on a, an exchange like Coinbase. Well, actually, I don't think you can get it on Coinbase. You can go on Binance US uh, and some other places to get yourself some BNB token. And then you can send that to your MetaMask wallet, which I have already done. This is what I keep in my BNB uh, wallet for fees for any transactions on PancakeSwap, which is the decentralized exchange on, Binance, on BNB, on Smart Chain. And so from there, I'll show you what to do. So you're going to go to pancakeswap.finance slash swap. And you're going to connect your wallet. So you'll connect your MetaMask wallet, and then you'll, well, you've will you already sent yourself BNB at this point, right? So from here, you're just simply swapping it like any other decentralized exchange um, for cold stack. And what I always do to make sure, and I already have it because I added it here, but I always want to make sure I'm clicking the correct token because people can create scam tokens with the same logo and try to trick you into converting it to that token. Um, so what you want to do is go to CoinMarketCap, Get that contract address like we already did once right here smart chain copy it and we'll paste it right into here and there you go it'll pop up with the correct one 
So now what you would do, um, always make sure you leave at least a dollar worth of BNB or so for gas fees. Um, so if I had 0.49, I'll, I could do 0.45 and convert this into 134 cold stack if I wanted to. I'm not going to do it right now, but all you do from here is hit swap and then you're good to go. And then you have it in your MetaMask wallet. So now I'm going to show you, now that you have cold stack, I'll show you how to stake it. Uh, so if you go back to CoinMarketCap and for under cold stack, you'll see the uh, website listed. The one that's dashboard.coldstack.io is where you're going to go to stake your cold stack. So once you get to this website, you're going to connect your MetaMask wallet, which I've already done. Simply whenever you do that, it's going to uh, have you sign a transaction and connect your wallet. And from there, you're going to go to billing. And when you get to billing, you're going to deposit tokens. And it's going to give you a wallet address to send your cold stack to. This is where I'm saying you don't have access, you're not going to have access to the private keys. So if they wanted to rug pull you and they have the private keys to this wallet, then they'll be able to do that. I don't think they will. It seems like a solid project, but just keep that in mind. Like I said, it may or may not be worth the risk to you. It's totally, you got to do your own research and make your own decisions. Um, but their Telegram is pretty active. So if you want to learn more about the project, join the Telegram and start uh, going through the messages and announcements. But anyway, so you would take this wallet address, you go up to MetaMask, making sure you have BNB for fees. You will, you're going to send that wallet address, your cold stack. So you'll click down here, make sure you're sending cold stack, send all your cold stack. It's going to charge you um, some BNB for the transaction fee, only nine cents right here. And then you would hit next and confirm the transaction. And at that point, uh, you're almost done. So once you send it through, they're going to arrive on the platform here, and then you're going to go to staking. And as you can see, I've already staked the $100 of cold stack we bought the other day. But all you do is hit stake tokens, and you'll put the max amount, and you can choose to stake 30, 60, or 90 days. 8% uh, APY if you're staking 30 days, 10% APY if you're staking 60, and 12% APY if you're staking 90 days. Um, again, do this at your own risk. If you if you think that this 12% is going to be worth it and you're not concerned they're going to take your funds or anything like that, then you're good to go. Just stake it that way. Um, but again, just when, once you stake, you're not going to have access to move these around for this time period. So if you think the price is going to pump really hard in the next 30 days and dump, I wouldn't stake it more than 30 days or maybe I wouldn't even stake it at all. Um, but personally, I don't have a I don't have a short-term target I'm looking for specifically on this project. Uh, I'm just kind of buying and holding it and waiting for a pump, which could come soon. It could come later. Um, but anyway, that's how you do it. So you'll hit stake, you'll confirm a transaction, um, and then you will be actively staking. It will show you when you can unstake right here. And then at the end of that time period, if you want to restake, I'm sure you'll be able to do that. Or you can just withdraw your funds back to your wallet and keep them safe. But that's a quick overview on how to buy it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. But thanks for watching.